Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Using Wild West shaving products today, I'm going to try my first bowl lather with the Simog Owners Club Taj Boar Bristle, Premium Boar Bristle, whatever you want to call it. It's been a really nice brush to use and break in from the start, so it's slowly getting softer and nicer and creating better lathers. So I will return to the Barrister Man Reserve base eventually and see if I can actually get that base sorted as well. So I'm going to arrange my mirrors. Right, so the Wild West shaving soap that I'm using was sent to me quite a while back from Spencer Frankel, gin and tonic. The scent on it, it's really nice. Off the, off the top of it, I mean, I don't drink gin and tonic, so I can't really tell you what it smells like, but this is a nice scent. It's almost got a slight fizz to it. There's quite a bit going on in there. Now the scent does say scents of juniper, juniper berry, coriander, grapefruit, black pepper, bergamot and amber. There is the ingredients list all the way around the outside as well, if you want to pause and have a look. But, tiny little tubs, they're ideal in, a in the sense that you can get through them reasonably fast. If this is the only size soap that you use, you can try loads of different scents. The, the gentleman that makes these soaps as well has got so many scents, it's not even funny. There's so many different scents on there. This is the only one I've smelled, the only one I've used. It's a good performing soap. Uh, it's definitely up there with, with some of the best and let's just see how it performs with a bowl ladder. So I'm going to be using my Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grail Bowl today, which is a lovely, lovely bowl. It's all wood. It is actually a two-piece bowl. This handle comes out, flips upside down, and goes inside there the other way, just for travel and portability. And as you can see, you've got all your dimples on the wood here. And on the inside, you might be able to see there is banana leafing around the whole rim of this bowl. Banana leafing is basically a rough texture which allows the, the lather to aerate and actually grow a little bit faster. So the brush has been soaking in my Rexton Brewing Company, Rexton Port Brewing Company glass which was sent over from Chris of CarveShaving.com. Just going to flick out a bit of the water but not loads of it using the Simog Taj 2018 Premium Bowl. Small Bonus Club. Beautiful, beautiful brush. It's really nice, it's got a great weight. It's actually quite nice to look at. I'm surprised I enjoy it so much. There's not a single dark hair in this knot either. The knot is pure blonde. And straight into here. So I've squished a fair bit of the soap in this bowl. The good thing with bowl lathers is it does actually, it really assists in breaking into the, the, the brush as well. Well, I find it does. Especially considering there's so much going on in this bowl to actually smash the tips of the bowl here. If you see there, you can see it's starting to build already. And yes, I am going to be using a, a DE razor today for the head shave. I'm going to be using the Christopher Bradley razor from Carve. Surprise, surprise. It's a bit difficult to show you loads of razors now because I do only have, I have two Carve razors, which are pretty much the same, just different handles. And I've got my above the tie R1 Calypso, which is pretty much my go-to head shaving razor. But I'm going to give the carve a little run out today with the D-plate. I can't remember the blade gap on the D-plate. I'm just dipping the tips here and just adding a little bit of water into the bowl. It's a little bit dry. Now one thing I've been surprised by with this brush, I was expecting to lose a lot of hair especially during the break-in period, but I haven't. I think I've lost probably four hairs, three hairs from this knot. This lather is really, really nice. I'll just show you just now just what it looks like at the moment. I mean, that's, there's hardly any bubbles in it. It's so dense. But I am going to dip the tips again. It does need a little bit more water. I don't know how many passes this is going to take, so I want to make sure I've got enough built up ladder to get through the full shave. It's a great bowl, it's so nice to hold, you can really get a good grip on it. You can't, there's no real way you drop in this bowl, you need to be really, really clumsy. 
for it to fall out of your hand. And the good thing is, with it being wood, it would more than likely just dent the wood. It wouldn't actually break as such because it's wood's quite a durable thing. You know, it's it can almost take a bit of a bit of a beating as well if you drop it. It does have a little bit of give. When I received this bowl as well, there was a few little dents and marks on it anyway to begin with, but it doesn't get much use. I'm not a massive bowl lathering fan. If I'm honest, I'm not very good at it. I, I do tend to miss the mark on most occasions with my ladders when I bowl ladder. However, on this occasion, I don't think I have. Just having a look to see, I mean, you can see the density of that lather. The scent, the scent's lovely. There's a lot more sort of zing in it now. It sort of opens up when you get a bit of water in there. And you can really smell it. It's quite a, it's quite a fragrant citrusy sort of scent for me, even though, from memory, I know my memory's really bad that I'm having to look back on here. There's grapefruit, which is the main sort of citrusy sort of thing going on in here. But, just a wonderful scented soap. And an excellent performer, very, very slick. And as you can see, it takes a little bit of work, I find, especially the bowl. But that's pretty much what you end up with. Now, there's not a whole heap of lather in this bowl, I have to admit. But it should be enough to complete my head shave. So, I've started to shave off already with some Fergal pre-shave which I always forget to mention, but that is what I've got in my head already. I'm just going to dip my whole hands in the water and add just a little bit of water back on because it's dried in and straight away I can feel the, the furball sort of reactivate. It just rinses off your fingers because it's water based, there's no oils in it I don't believe, so it doesn't actually stick, stick to your hands and it does break down in water very easily. There's actually quite a lot of lather here which is nice, so let's just Start painting this on, oh, I say painting it, looks like I'm lathering it on. <laughs> I'll just give it a little bit of a scrub around. Just to give the tips a little bit of a smashing on the short hairs. But I'm not going to mess about with it too much. Spending all that time on a bowl lather. So it defeats the purpose to spend ages lathering it on your head as well. So I can smell the scent drifting down, which is nice. It's actually, it looks a bit dry. It's very slick. I'm just going to dip the tips a little bit. And that'll do this. So it's not a very voluminous lather. I find in my head I don't get very voluminous lathers anyway for some reason. But it's a good thick coating, which is what you really want, especially when you're about to tackle it with a DE razor. So this is the car Christopher Bradley razor, and this has got the three and a half inch Argyle style handle, which has got a different knurling to the standard car razor that you can buy, that you can still purchase at the moment. I'm not sure whether this handle will ever be released or whether it may come along in the stainless version or the titanium I'm not sure but yeah let's just get stuck in I've got the D plate on here and I've got eight use so this is a it's the ninth use on this blade I've got seven face shaves and one head shave so this is the ninth use yep so let's just see this is the Gillette super thin as well I'll just show you that just before I start, the video's long already anyway. But that's what the blade looks like. These are made for the Thai, Thailand market. It says new improved stainless, on the other side it says Gillette Super Thin. And here we go. Straight in, oh, just go straight against the grain, shall we? Oh, 
could have turned that over there. I don't know why I rinsed that off straight away. Nicked a little spot there already. Brilliant. Good start. I am a little bit out of touch, if I'm honest, with my DE razors on the head shaves. Mainly because if I'm honest, cartridge razors shave my head better. But that's really, really close on that first part. In fact, it's BBS on that first pass right over that area there. Dip my fingers and just check how good the slickness is. It's really good. Surprisingly, there's not a whole heap left on there. In fact, there's hardly anything. Mm. Let's go back to the bowl, grab some more lather. Look at that. Look how glossy and dense that lather is. Right, let's get stuck in with the final pass. Top this blade up enough. I've actually got a couple. See the weepers coming through there? Got quite a few actually. I've got loads. I bet I've got shit tons in the back of my head as well. It's such a sharp blade. It's like feather sharp. I can't 
It's definitely smoother than a feather, but I have to describe it as sharp as one as well, because it truly is a very, very sharp blade. Yes? Hey. No, wait a minute, just come in. Alright, I'll be back. I don't think this has been a really good head shave to be honest. I seem to have lost my knack with my DE razor technique. That I've got a BBS head shave, but I can feel that my skin is rough. Like raw, rough. There's a lot of weepers, loads. So what I'm gonna do is use my little what's left of my razor rock allen block which is that that's all that's left of it that used to fill up that whole box pretty much i'm just going to i've wet my head i've just wet it i'm just going to wet it a little bit more i'm going to dip the whole allen block in water and then i'm going to burn the shit out of my head Whew. oh yes Yeah, the back, that ain't nice. That's not nice at all. So the sting in the burn is pretty much gone now. I'm not feeling any sting or any burn at all. So that tells me that it's pretty much done its job, the Allen block. Now, really important part. Give it a rinse off if you've got some, if you've had some blood or whatever, just to clean it off. But then what I do is I get in the towel, just really give it a good squeeze to dry it off, all the water on top, and then leave it out to air. If, if you close it in on in this box and don't allow it to air, it will just it will literally just decomposes and degrades. So part of the reason probably why mine's fell to bits, but I did realise that mine's was hollow in the middle as well, which isn't great. So next part is to rinse it all off because it, it takes all that slickness and moisture from your skin, it just gets rid of it all. all that off. Uh, 
And then it's really important for me anyway, not for everyone, but for me, that I put the moisture back in or I use something to try and put the moisture back in. I am going to use some oil grooming today, which is frosted franken lime, mentholated lime scent, which is stunning. One, two, three splashes of that. I'm not expecting really any burn because the, the Allen block's done that part for me. The great thing with this moil grooming is it really moisturises and it heals your skin. Not to mention it smells incredible. Right. Let us rinse the brush off. seeing any spots of blood now which is good but I am seeing a lot of redness all over the place now it will most likely look worse at the moment because moil grooming splashes do actually bring that redness out So we started to shave off today with Furball pre-shave gel. I did that off camera. I normally put that on off camera because it's just a little bit you put on and it's not really sort of a major thing you sort of do at the start of the video really. The soap was Wild West Shaving Company, gin and tonic. There are the ingredients list and what its scent is. It's a good, it's a great performing soap really, I've got to say, I mean, had I used a, a lesser protective soap today, I think it would have been on a whole lot more world of hurt. The brush for today, well, actually I should start with that. The bowl was the Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grail, which is an absolutely stunning bowl. Very comfortable to hold, very hard to get hold of. But these days, you can't just grab them anymore. I don't think they're really on sale in too many places. The brush was the Samog Owners Club Taj Resin Premium Blonde Bow, which is absolutely beautiful. It's starting to really bloom out now. And it's really hard. The thing I love about natural hair brushes is they absorb the scents of the soaps that you use, which is really nice. The razor was the Carve Christopher Bradley razor with the D plate. And it's it shaves really well. It's it's, it's almost too smooth. And I think part of my problem with it is it's so smooth, I give it too much pressure. And I think that's part of the reason that I've ended up in the predicament I'm in today. But with a little bit of alum block and a splash of, in my opinion, one of the best splashes on the planet from oil grooming, it should bring my skin back to where it should be in a very short period of time. I mean, it's it feels better already. It really does. That menthol from the moil grooming as well just cools your skin down, makes it feel a lot better rather than that hot burning sensation, you get a cooling sensation and yeah, it works really, really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been a long video once again. Uh, yeah, I'm just not the best with my bowl ladders, unfortunately. I'm a little bit quicker with a head ladder or a face ladder, but we'll get there eventually. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.